Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 10.6 pulleys. 10.6 represents Chapter 10, Section 6 of the Pearson A Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. This section involves modelling connected particles involving pulleys. Assume that particles are connected by a light and extensible string which passes over a smooth pulley. This means that the tension in the string will be the same on both sides of the pulley. A smooth pulley also means that there is no friction on the pulley. A string that has not been stretched is called a slack string. A string that has been fully stretched is called a taut string. Here are the constant acceleration formulae. We have suvat. S represents displacement. U represents initial velocity. V represents final velocity. A represents acceleration. And T represents time. These are the key facts of 10.6 pulleys. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. Two particles have masses 3 kg and mkg, where m is less than 3. They are attached to the ends of a light and extensible string. The string passes over a smooth fixed pulley. The particles are held in position with the string taut and the hanging parts of the string vertical, as shown. The particles are then released from rest. The initial acceleration of each particle has magnitude 3 over 7g, where g is acceleration due to gravity, g is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. Find part A, the tension in the string immediately after the particles are released. Let's begin with a force diagram. Now over here what we have is connected particles. So with connected particles we need to create a split. So I'm going to create a split over here. This will help me identify all the forces acting on the mkg particles separately, the pulley separately and the 3kg particles separately. Let's start off with the mkg particle. We have the weight of this particle acting vertically downwards. It is given by mg. Now because of this weight, we have a tension in the string for the mkg particle acting vertically upwards. Let's call it T. This completes the mkg particle. Let's move on to the 3kg particle. Firstly, we have the weight of the 3kg particle acting vertically downwards. It is given by 3g. Because of this weight, we have a tension in the string for the 3 kg particle acting vertically upwards. It is T. Because in the question we have a smooth pulley, hence the tension is the same throughout the string. We can call it T. Now moving on to the pulley. Over here, we have the tension acting vertically downwards, which is T. This is due to Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. Now for this action over here, there's an equal but opposite reaction, so the tension in the string over here will act vertically downwards. Okay, the force exerted by the string on the pulley acts vertically upwards. It is two lots of the tension T. Now in the question, it clearly says that M is less than 3. This means that 3 kg particle is heavier than the M kg particle. So if we release the system from rest, the 3 kg particle will accelerate downwards and the mkg particle will accelerate upwards. The acceleration is given as 3 over 7g. So we have 3 over 7g meters per second per second, accelerating downwards. Then we have 3 over 7g meters per second per second, accelerating upwards. This is my complete force diagram. Juice. So I've got a beautiful force diagram drawn. I can now proceed forward and do some calculation. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Find the tension in the string immediately after the particles are released. So for part A, we want to work out T. If I resolve vertically for the mkg particle, I'll have two unknowns in my equation of motion. I'll have T and I'll have M. Hence, I'm not going to resolve vertically for the mkg particle. I'm going to resolve vertically for the 3kg particle. Because if I resolve vertically for the 3kg particle, I'll only have one unknown in my equation of motion, and that is the T. So in part A, consider the 3 kg particle. Resolve vertically in the direction of the acceleration. So for the 3 kg particle, the acceleration is downwards. Take downwards to be positive. Use Newton's second law, F equal ma, to generate the equation of motion. So let's start off with the resultant force F. This would be 3g acting downwards minus t acting upwards. So F is 3g minus t. The mass is free multiplied by the acceleration, which is 3 over 7 g. So I've got 3 g minus t is equal 9 over 7 g. Rearrange this, I get 3 g minus 9 over 7 g is equal t. 
So we have 12 over 7g is equal to. Okay, I know that g is acceleration due to gravity. g is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. So if I substitute g equal 9.8 into here, I get t equal 16.8. Therefore, the tension in the string immediately after the particles are released is 16.8 newtons. This completes part A of exam style question 1. Moving on to part B of exam style question 1. Find the value of m. Okay, let's have a look at the solution to part B. m is associated to the mkg particle, so now I'm going to resolve vertically for the mkg particle. Resolve vertically in the direction of acceleration for the mkg particle, which is upwards. So we take upwards to be the positive direction, and we use Newton's second law F equal ma to generate the equation of motion. So the resultant force F will be T acting upwards minus mg acting downwards. So T minus mg is equal to m multiplied by the acceleration, which is 3 over 7g. Now the tension T is 12 over 7g, so I've got 12 over 7g minus mg is equal 3 over 7 mg. Each term in this equation has a g involved, so I can divide the entire equation by g in order to eliminate the g. So I can just cancel out the g's. Hence I've got 12 over 7 minus m is equal 3 over 7 m. Okay, I can take the minus m to the right hand side. This gives me 12 over 7 is equal 10 over 7 m. 12 over 7 divided by 10 over 7 is 1.2, so m is equal 1.2. Therefore, the value of m is 1.2. That there, ladies and gents, completes part B of exam style question 1. Moving on to the final part, which is part C. Find the force exerted by the string on the pulley. The force exerted by the string on the pulley is 2t. So two lots of the tension. Now your tension is 16.8, so it's two lots of 16.8. So two multiplied by 16.8 is 33.6. Okay, so 2t is 33.6. Hence, therefore, the force exerted by the string on the pulley is 33.6 newtons. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. A block of wood A of mass 0.5 kg rests on a rough horizontal table and is attached to one end of a light and extensible string. The string passes over a small smooth pulley P fixed at the edge of the table. The other end of the string is attached to a ball B of mass 0.8 kg which hangs freely below the pulley as shown in the figure. The resistance to motion of A is F newtons. The system is released from rest with the string taut. After release, B descends a distance of 0.4 meter and 0.5 seconds. Modeling A and B as particles, calculate part A, the acceleration of B. Now before we look at the solution to part A, I'm going to draw a force diagram. Again, I've got connected particles so I'm going to start off with a split. Now over here we have two splits, here is the first split, here is the second split. This split will help me identify all the forces acting on A separately, the pulley separately and B separately. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin with the particle B. Now for the particle B we have the weight acting vertically downwards which is 0.8 G. Because of this weight there is a tension acting in the string for particle B and that tension will act vertically upwards, let's call it T. This is particle B complete, let's move on to particle A. Now for particle A, again we have the weight acting vertically downwards, it is given by 0.5 g. Okay, now that particle A is in contact with the surface, the surface will exert a normal reaction on the particle A acting vertically upwards. Let's call it R A. Okay, now, particle B is heavier than particle A, so particle B will accelerate vertically downwards, we can call it A meters per second per second. And particle A will therefore accelerate to the right. We can call it A meters per second per second. Now, over here, what we have is a rough horizontal table. So there's friction in that particular table. 
Okay, so if the particle A is accelerated to the right, friction opposes motion, and so friction will act to the left, and that friction is given by F newtons acting on A to the left. Okay, so F. Now, due to this friction force F acting to the left, there will be a tension in the string acting to the right for particle A. Since this uh, pulley is smooth, the tension is the same throughout the string, hence we can call this tension T. That is also T. Let's look at the pulley now. Over here we have a tension T acting upwards by Newton's third law. For every action there's an equal but opposite reaction. So we have the tension in the string over here acting downwards. Again over here we have the tension acting to the right by Newton's third law. For every action there's an equal but opposite reaction. So for the pulley in the string over here the tension acts to the left. So ladies and gents that is my complete force diagram. Solid. Now that I've got a lovely diagram here, I can proceed forward with the calculation. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now in part A, it says find the acceleration of B. We have enough information to use SUVA. So we don't need to resolve forces, we can use SUVA in order to find the acceleration of B. So I can write SUVA. Right, in the question it says over here, after release, B descends a distance of 0.4 meters in 0.5 seconds. So S, which is the displacement, or you could say the distance, is 0.4 in this scenario. The system is released from rest, so the initial velocity U is 0. The final velocity we don't know, so we can put an X there. The acceleration is what we're trying to calculate, and the time taken to travel a distance of 0.4 meter is 0.5 seconds. So the time T is 0.5. The SUVAT that fits S U A T is S equal U T plus a half A T squared. So I've got 0 0.4 equal to 0 multiplied by 0 0.5 plus a half A multiplied by 0 0.5 squared. So I've got 0 0.4 is equal to, that becomes 0. If I take a half and I multiply by 0 0.5 squared, I get 1 over 8. Lots of the acceleration. Okay, so A is equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 8, which is 3.2. Therefore, the acceleration of B, which is the same as the acceleration of A because the string is taut during the motion, is 3.2 meters per second per second. And that completes part A of exam style question 2. Moving on to part B of exam style question 2. Find the tension in the string. Okay, let's have a look at the solution to part B. So the target is to work out the value of T. If I resolve horizontally for particle A, I'll have two unknowns in my equation. I'll have T and I'll have F. Okay, so I can't resolve horizontally for particle A to work out T. I must resolve vertically for particle B to work out T. Because if I resolve vertically for particle B, I'll only have one unknown in my equation. And that is precisely the T. So in part B, I need to consider particle B. So I'm going to resolve vertically in the direction of the acceleration, which is downwards. So we take downwards to be positive. Use F equal MA to generate the equation of motion. So the resultant force F, if I take downwards to be positive, will be 0.8G acting down minus T acting up. So I've got 0.8G minus t is equal to the mass of particle b which is 0.8 multiplied by the acceleration which is 3.2 okay so i get 0.8 g minus t is equal to 2.56 now i can rearrange this to work out t so i've got 0.8 g minus 2.56 is equal to t i can substitute g equal 9.8 and so if i do this i get T is equal 5.28. Okay, so now I can write a conclusion. Therefore, the tension in the string is 5.28 newtons. That there, ladies and gents, completes part B of exam style question 2. Moving on to the final part of exam style question 2, and this is part C. Find the value of F. Okay, let's have a look at the solution to part C. We want to work out the value of F. F is associated to particle A, so I need to resolve horizontally for particle A in order to work out F. 
Okay, so consider particle A. Resolve horizontally in the direction of the acceleration. So we are accelerating to the right. Take right to be positive. Use F equal MA to generate the equation of motion. So let's start off with the resultant force F. That would be T acting to the right minus F acting to the left. So I've got T minus F has to equal the mass, which is 0 0.5, multiplied by the acceleration, which is 3.2. Okay, so the T is 5.28. I can substitute that in. I can whack it in. Juice. So I've got 5.28 minus F is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 3.2. That gives me 1.6. So I've got... 5.28 minus 1.6 is equal F. Therefore, the value of F is 5.28 minus 1.6, which is 3.68. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 10.6 pulleys. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.